Okay, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Uh, I did a video earlier today about uh, checking to see if uh, your signal was propagating uh, via uh, webSDR.org. And I used uh, an SDR uh, in Sedona, Arizona. I'm located in San Angelo, Texas. And if you've watched the video, you can see that uh, my CW signal uh, showed on the waterfall and that when I transmitted uh, via single sideband, um, you, the signal was able to be heard. Uh, since that time, there has been an X-class solar flare and uh, bottom end has dropped out of HF. So I wanted to do a follow-up video where I show that uh, my signal is uh, no longer propagating. Uh, so uh, I'm tuned in uh, through that same SDR and uh, I have it set for 7.220 uh, megahertz which is the same frequency I was testing on earlier. Uh, I've uh, set the receiver for uh, CW and uh, I have my ICOM 7300, SB200, uh, everything was still tuned up on frequency uh, so I've switched everything back on and tested it. I'm still putting out the same wattage. So what I'll do now is I'll key my transmitter. And as you can see, uh, there is no signal coming through at all. And we'll try the same thing on single sideband that we tried earlier. So let me turn the volume up here. Kilo Delta 5, Tango Kilo Romeo. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and clear. And you can also tell that uh, the signal did not come through at all. So, uh, this is fairly common when you have big solar flares that uh, the bottom end will uh, drop out of HF and uh, there's just basically nothing getting through at all. Uh, and like I said, I just wanted to, uh, to show a demonstration of that so that uh, if you see that in the future, you know what you're looking at. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below. Uh, I hope that you have found this informative and uh, I also hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.